welcome to Falcon Focus with your hosts, Springer DeRozier and Alexis Hawley. Sports with Brandel Diaz and Tyson Abbott. Dayton Elliott and Heidi Brown reporting live. And West Burlington's number one skit team. Here's Springer and Alexis. Welcome to another year of Falcon Focus. This should be a good one. Wait, why did you say should? Well, I'm working with you, Springer. I'm exhausted. Sure you do, Springer. Now this episode is about something that just happened last week. My grandma's birthday. No, silly. Homecoming. I could stay away. Just to hear you breathe I'm so glad you're not in choir anymore. Thanks, Alexis. So this episode is about homecoming, autumn, and the crisp and colorful falling leaves. Springer, I think they get the point. Fall is also football, volleyball, and cross-country season. Which brings us to Falcon Sports. Welcome back to Falcon Sports. Buenos dias. Mi nombre es Tyson. Abbas es incredible hacer en Falcon Focus y pudo llegar hasta el final. Goal! Me encanta Americano football. What are you doing? I just got a Spanish three. Oh, I apologize, Brandon. Okay. Well, Falcon football has been off to a great start so far as the Falcons have played six games up to date. Yes, it has, Brandon, and I'm sure the fans agree. Now we have some great position battles, each player fighting for the right to start. You said it, Tyson. And Falcon fans are sure to stay engrossed in our quarterback battle between Deshaun Johnson and Grant Reed. Falcon Volleyball is also nearing the peak of their season. First year coach Olivia Steinberg has some large shoes to fill as she looks to lead the former conference champs to regional play. Yes, she does, Tyson, but she's not alone. Team seniors, myself, Mackenzie Larpenter, and Dayton Elliott will make the second half of our season exciting. It really has been a great season for both of these sports so far, but they're not alone. WBND Cross Country has made an impact as well. Their third season has been Another great year, as Coach Moffitt's team has been running like they stole something. They sure have, Tyson. There really seems to be some characters on our fall teams this year. It does seem like the most flamboyant personalities have come to the forefront, and they're here. Let's meet the varsity players from the volleyball, football, and cross-country teams. Hoslin Kicks from Northern Iowa. Virginia Dorkoff. I am from Boise State. It's your boy Thad Castle, Blue Mountain State. Your boy RK Clearly, Iowa State Penitentiary. Xmas Flaxen Waxen Jackson, Colgate University. Barry Harry, California Institute of Technology. TJ AJ RJ backslash and fourth the fifth. And the player formerly known as Mascot, Missouri University Columbia. Hankel McCringleberry, St. Omar. Brian 12 Washington, Bryant College. Ahmed Bouja Khadim, Iowa State College. Chaquita Isabel Orquila, Universidad de Mexico. Jahar Menar, Menar, Jahar, Middle of Tennessee. Jack Jack Black, College of Wooster. Dwayne Showerhead, West Eastern, Southern Tech, Northern Iowa. Marty Guacamole. Fort Madison Institute. For the Velociraptor Trout, Harvard University. Kimoto Dragon, Northeast Southeast Missouri State. X Wing at Aliciousness. <laughs> Riley Hale, Notre Dame. Hashimoteng, Bak Chang, Alabama Mechanical University. Fracha Ganesha from the University of You Know. Jed I. Knight, Air Force Academy. Judy B. Smoothie, Moorhead University. Read books, Stanford <laughs> University. The Gloucester Hard Duncan Chad, California University of Pennsylvania. Busted Eardrums, University of Juilliard. Sylvester Salon from South Dakota University. Hayden Wilson, West Burlington. We are going to be looking for some big plays from the player formerly known as Mouse Cop all year long. And let's not forget star athletes Ingle McCringleberry and 
Dwayne Shower Handle. They've both had amazing seasons. That's right. Now let's take it to the halls and ask our student body's opinion on the fight for each position as well as Falcon Sports opinions. We are headed to okay. Maharishi, right Aubrey? Yeah. Who are we going to play tonight? Um, Waco. And Fecky. Fe Ma that's holy trendy. Fecky is holy trendy. No, she appears in Maha. That was Cute, nice. Tori. And Pete. Way to support yes, your teammates. Tori, Super Corporate's champion. Hopefully we come out with the win. Yeah. If it's not, I don't really know. We need upset. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank well, you, do you, you live in a dumpster? Because your hair looks like trash. That wasn't it. Sorry, y'all. Um, we're here with varsity cheerleader Kennedy Springsteen Brown and also varsity player Tim Williams. <laughs> Tim, it's Tim. Uh, Tim the Usain Bolt Williams. Tim the Usain Bolt Williams. I'm so sorry. Tim the Usain Bolt, how is your season going? It's going pretty good. I think we can uh, come out and get a good room today. And uh, hopefully, hopefully uh, we get that, that uh, first season. And that's good for us. That's good. Kennedy, how do you like cheering for the boys? It's fun. Tim, what do you think of your gorgeous cheerleaders you have on the sidelines? Um, I think uh, the, 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 the cutest cheerleader might be Randall Dias. Oh, oh my god, she's so good looking. <laughs> <laughs> you said right. Okay, <laughs> we're here with um, Aaron Redlinger, who is a coach of the Fresh Off in the JV team. How do you think the season is going so far? Uh, so far, the Fresh Off, they're learning a lot, showing improvement. Um, they had their first one against Maharishi last week, so that got them excited. JV's going very well, uh, working together, trying to find a rhythm in the new lineups. You have such good answers. Um, um, we're here with Rooks DeRosier, who is a freshman cross country runner. Rooks, how do you like cross country? Uh, it's nice and peaceful when you run sometimes. Other times when it's windy and it's hilly, it sucks. And how far do you run in cross country? Uh, for the meets, we run 3.1 miles, and for practice, we usually run four. Have you ever thrown up after running 3.1 miles or 4 miles? Uh, no, but shout out to Tristan, he always does. <laughs> Every single time. Uh, do you do anything special before your track, or not track meets, cross country meets? Stretch. Stop. We're here with camera shy Riley Hill. Riley had hip problems early in the season. Riley, how are you recovering from those hip problems? <laughs> she is it. We're here with the O-line coordinator, Mr. Gurrius. Mr. Gurrius, how do you think the season is going? Uh, going pretty good so far. We're playing some pretty good football right now. And what do you do as the O-line coordinator? Uh, I make sure they get set up and block the right people and play physical, I guess. What happens if they don't play physical? Um, then I get a little angry with them. <laughs> My position is I'm a tailback, a junior tailback. <laughs> Funny. Anyway, I'm a junior tailback and uh, I just look for holes and hope And he usually finds them, folks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, there you have it. He finds holes. Kennedy likes to cheer. I'm on way to get some interviews done. Oh, 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 oh. How do you like practicing with those awesome varsity seniors? Oh, I, I feel blessed every day to just be in the presence of such you know, greatness. Know. It's awesome. Yeah. And Riley. Yeah, and Riley. Yeah, she's just totally great. And her nasty looks at me. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you think the outcome of the season is going to be like this year? I think that we can have a strong ending to the season if we come together and work as a team rather than uh, six individuals. Thank you. Thank you, Randall. The Rosier duo. Coming at ya, live. Not really live, it's pre-recorded. I hear he's pretty hot. <laughs> well, this wraps up Falcon Sports. I'm Fiddy Tyson. And I'm Brandel Diaz. Before we move on to the anchors, here's a message from our sponsors. Falcon Pride, y'all. Falcon Pride! Yeah! So solid. Falcon, Falcon Pride. Pride. Falcon Pride! Falcon Pride! <laughs> Falcon Pride. Falcon Pride. <laughs> okay, you two, I've had enough of this. Here's a demerit. Falcon Pride. 
I'm about to cry. In school news, the kudos are being implemented, yet with no avail. Homecoming was at the beginning of this month. We crowned a new homecoming king and queen. Here are this year's homecoming flashbacks. This is how we do
their life show us so and all they said was six eight we'll be right back after these messages he once fumbled a football just to see how it felt a snake once bit him after six days of excruciating pain the snake died sharks have a week dedicated to him he gives teachers demerits he's won trophies for his game face alone he is the most interesting man at good old WB. I don't normally drink Gatorade, but when I do, it's because I soar. Keep soaring, my friends. Hi, I'm Dave from their wireless company. They could get wireless wherever they need it with West Burlington Wireless, but who wouldn't miss a chance to get close to their classmates? Miss Alerts, call Mr. Snodgrass. Woo. and our leaders in hopes that this pressuring issue can be resolved safely and quickly. In school news, there are tensions in the hallway. N never mind, there's only nine chins in the hallway. That's my bad, my bad. In national news, I'd like to pose a question. Miley Cyrus, what were you thinking? Let's go to narrating great Morgan Freeman, breaking the news story on twerking. The word twerking has now been added to the Oxford Dictionary. Here's the definition they gave. To dance to popular music in a sexually provocative manner, involving thrusting hip movements and a low squatting stance. <laughs> the BBC reports selfie and girl crush were also added. Wow, Springer. This is pretty sad, so I'd like to end this story on a high note. And now, here to give a review on Cassandra Clare's book, City of Bones, Mortal Instruments, here's language arts teacher, Mr. Adams. Sir? Thanks, guys. Now, Mr. Adams, what did you think of the book? I didn't read the book, Springer. Thank you, Mr. Adams. Now, to get the views of this year's homecoming and recent news, here's Dayton and Heidi. Ladies? Maddie Hand, can you tell me um, your opinion on the Kunos? I haven't used mine. It's just sat in your locker. Yeah, it's at home actually. Yeah, dead like most of the other ones. Yep. That's what I thought. Mm. The word of the year, <laughs> kudos. Um, yes. Interesting. We, we've learned how to search and retrieve and Ooh. deliver. We've watched many parents bring them in to students who can't remember them. Do you guys actually use them at all? No, we don't have you guys don't have any? No. Uh, that's what I actually do enjoy. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. Um, I think being able to send things out to students not losing papers uh, works out very well. Very cool. Okay. Do you do it daily? Yeah. Oh. Interesting. Um, hey, Sean. Wait, where'd he go? <laughs> Can you tell us what you think about the homecoming dance? About the homecoming dance? Yeah. It's a good time for students to come in and support the student council who's trying to raise money. What about the rules and regulations? The rules and regulations have always been in place here at the school district. They were just never formally written down on paper until this year. What do you guys think about Snodgrass's new and improved rules and regulations? No. I don't care. I like them, they're great for the community. <laughs> Q 
Keely Switzer, what's your favorite thing about Homecoming Week? I'd say uh, Twin Day. Oh, look at these cute Aww. little twins. <laughs> um, dressing up in all black and blending in with this couch is pretty fun. Scaring, the, scaring people. Stephanie Wills, can you tell us about your Homecoming Day for this dance? It's bring it to Roger. And how do you feel about that? Um, I'm in it for the free dinner. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> they have been, so many words. <laughs> I think it's been a good year so far. It's I love seeing year. the costumes and all, the, all, the, all the excitement. And trying to figure out who's who going down the hall. It's okay. Right. School is good. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite part? Um, the assemblies. I don't know. Good. <laughs> <laughs> hey Sean, how do you feel about the government shutting down? I feel great. Candy's gonna be cheap now, so get it while it lasts. <laughs> what do you feel about Homecoming Week? Awesome. Is it awesome? Can you explain how it's awesome? It's just awesome. It's boring. Caleb? <gasps> Why is that? Because everyone dresses weird. <laughs> Why don't you dress weird? Because that's weird. Are you no, going to dance? Probably not. To eat on a date. <laughs> it's just cool. Neither do I. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I'll dance with you. <laughs> so, who's your typical dance partner? Partner for the dance? My girl Mary Weston. And who is that? <laughs> Kelsey Hill. <laughs> well, folks, that's all the time we have for my first last episode of this school year. My two sprayer. Let's not talk about that now. We have a long time until it's graduation. Well, I'm Alexis Holly. And I'm Springer Rocher. Stay classy, West Burlington. Falcon Prime. Oh, hi! <laughs> Baron is... Is this thing on? I don't know. You had to kiss Mr. Reed, you're so mad. Okay, you two, I've had enough of this. Here's a demerit. Falcon, Falcon Pride. Pride. Okay.